back. So we have Petty's Lawn and Garden with us right now. And we were actually just talking before the break about an issue that may have been arising with all of this rain. It came on last year pretty heavily. And yeah. that's nutgrass. Nut right. Sedge. Which, which is apparently a big issue. It's a big issue. And the more rain we get, the bigger the issue. Um, nutgrass or nut sedge loves water. So mm -hmm. if you have low areas in your yard or places that stay damp longer for longer periods of time, whether it be by your irrigation or rainfall, you're going to have an issue. And those seeds, the nuts that they actually develop on, can stay dormant in your yard for years and years. So last year we had a lot of rain. We had nut sedge in places where people had never seen it before. Mm -hmm. They didn't realize, thought something was going wrong. And now that we've had a lot of rain, you know, to knock the spraying off, we're going to see nuts edge again. So we need to stay on top of it, be really, really proactive, and get, on, get ahead of it before it takes over our yards. I would say so. Wow. Yeah. So, so unfortunately, the rain is, is, is <laughs> mm -hmm. not good in this circumstance. And it just keeps coming. <laughs> yeah. We love it. It needs yeah. to keep coming. Right, right, right. It certainly, it certainly does keep coming. Um, so talk about how we can prevent uh, the, the nut grass from, from having not, uh, I guess, if we do have it take place, mm -hmm. how do we properly get rid of it? Right. Do not pull it. Okay. <laughs> Never, ever, ever pull nut sedge. Okay. Nut sedge is a grass that actually grows from a nut underground. And if you pull the grass, it breaks off at the nut. The nut goes into, hey, I need to survive mode, puts out a hundred new shoots <gasps> with all brand new nuts, and you end up with going from a small spot of nut sedge to nut sedge in huge areas of your yard kind of taking over. So the best thing to do is to put down pre-emergence. If you have a nut sedge problem, put down pre-emergent about every three months. Uh, pre-emergence lasts about six to eight weeks. So you can do it four times a year, fertilize like you regularly would, and use the correct application of um, herbicide spray to get rid of it so that it controls it and knocks it down. But whatever you do, don't pull it. You don't want to fight that battle. Trust me. Oh, that sounds like a brutal battle that you will lose. You all will right. lose that battle if you pull it. You oh. absolutely will. So you mentioned that rainfall is the cause of all of this. How rainfall much? or over irrigation? Okay. Most people over irrigate their lawns. Okay. Sorry, don't yeah. get anything personal by that. But but you do. Mm -hmm. Your yard needs about an inch of rainfall, an inch of irrigation a week, even in the worst parts of August just an inch. If you don't know how much that is or don't know how much irrigation is coming off your system or how much water is being put out per minute, sit a tuna fish can in your yard. A plain old regular size tuna fish can. Eat the tuna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you'll get a lot of questionable things in your yard if not. <laughs> Turn your irrigation on and when the can's full that's an inch of water. Divide that by two or three times a week rain, you know, watering, mm -hmm. you've got an inch of water. Another way you can test it is to get a small piece of wire, sturdy wire, or some kind of probe. Push it down into your yard. It should be push in very easily. That means your, your ground is saturated and will move to let that rod go through. You're getting good water. Do that six to eight inches deep. That's all your root system needs. If it's hard and you can only push in an inch and you just hit a block wall, water is not penetrating your lawn. You may need to aerate. You may need to top dress with different composting soil so that it will break your soil down a little bit. There's lots of different ways to do it, but you want to make sure that your water is getting down as deep as it needs to by the density or hardness of your soil. Slow your irrigation down and watch for runoff. If you're getting a lot of excess runoff onto the ground, onto the sidewalks or streets, it's obviously not absorbing into the lawn. So right. you're either overwatering or you're watering too fast. You got may it. have to break it up so you only water one or two minutes, two or three times a day. Got it, got it. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us sure. this morning. We do have this information on our website as well. We're gonna take a quick break with our sister station.